uh, how does this sound? Um, you know, to an extent, it's, it's a good one when you give someone the chance to right his wrong. You know, but in this case, they are, these ones are thugs. You know, <laughs> these ones are supposed to be high-handed, you know, disturbing criminals. But then, uh, the state government has really uh, uh, is supposedly taking the right approach, irrespective and not minding the reactions of people. I don't know why they are concerned because we usually say that these people should be um, absorbed is a way of trying to give them a new chapter. But then the police is also claiming that they're not into the, into the force. You know, let, 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 what's your take on this? <laughs> they're not into the force. <laughs> what will be the address code? Uh, I need you know, to know it's, that. It's a security if, initiative. Uh, but what will force. be the address code? Would they not wear Nigerian police uniform? <laughs> if they will not wear Nigerian police uniform, it's not an issue. Mm. Uh, but if they wear Nigerian police uniform, it is going to be an issue. An issue. See, I don't know what the Nigerian police or our uh, security agency, uh, what is the test of uh, 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 knowing that somebody has repented? I don't know how they test repentance because <laughs> also in religious settings, we know that repentance is a matter of the heart mm -hmm. and the soul, mm -hmm. yes. which only God can actually test. See, yes. yes, but if you say somebody has repented, I think the, the again, I, I, know, I, I keep saying this, when you don't work with relevant stakeholders, you cause problems. The police have done this job. Get these people, they, ra they radicalize them, so as they said. Mm, profile them. You have to have NGOs that are connected to companies that will give them a report, a police report, exempting them with an amnesty report stating that this person has gone through this program and this program for so, so, so long, and we are saying he can be employed. We are also um, standing in as, as his guarantors. If anything happens, we'll take full responsibility, both to prosecute and otherwise. And you send that to a company who is looking for a security man. He looks at it. They will not have a problem to bring the man in. They may not give him very sensitive areas, but at least he will be engaged. You look for other stakeholders. The police now becomes some kind of uh, an evil eye on these persons to ensure that wherever they are sent to, they are doing well and they don't fall back to crime. But if after taking them through this radicalization program, mm. and you are the one that will still recruit them into some form of service, how long will we cope with this kind of thing? The fear is there. First of all, the ones that did not go through the radicalization, we know how they are radicalizing <laughs> their fellow citizens. <laughs> uh, yes, it is evil. Police brutality is no longer an issue. Mm -hmm. You can't even say it and anybody will accuse you mm. of uh, defaming Nigerian police. Mm. We have even cases recently that was, that was um, one of the police officers that was judged for shooting mm a lawyer in Lagos and all that. Mm. So, the, if the ones who did not come out from this story are giving us issues like this, now adding these ones that are, com that are coming out from Togri mm. and have faced some kind of hardship and probably they're doing this because they wanted financial support and then they now add them to this group. They now stand on the road with this group. Mm. Uh, the, the money will go to 200 dollars per bus driver. Mm. Uh, it will move the to corruption will really go. No, I don't want to measure corruption. The <laughs> money will go to 200 naira per bus <laughs> driver. Yes. Uh, 50 naira will no longer because the talks are more brutal than the Nigerian police yes. in collecting uh, the 50, 50 naira, 100 naira exchange. I can tell you that for free. The talks are more brutal. So if the talk now decide to wear Nigerian police, I'd rather ask the question what uniform will they be wearing? Mm. If they are just part of an intelligent community unit. You know, that will provide information and all that is, is, a, is a welcome development. You, you will need some kind of the intelligence and experience these boys have gathered. You will need it okay. to be able to fish out others. Is the truth. Okay. But I can also say beyond any other thing that if um, they are going to wear our uniform, they are going to be paid from our taxpayers' money, and they are going to still join these other ones that we already complained of who did not come out from Tongri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the concerns of people, the users of X, may have some kind of genuine, you know, concern in it, and every Nigerian should be concerned about it. So right. I, I still think we 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 really need to change our strategy about these things. Okay. Every time you go into the society and you're trying to deal with crime and rehabilitation, back into the society is part of the program. Okay. You can't work it alone by yourself.